And what ended up happening is that it ends up being an awful lot of pork barrel spending. It's a, it's a trough, and, and we legislators then come to the trough in order to gather up money for different projects that we have going on in our districts. Um, I am guilty of this. All 62 of us legislators in this building are, are guilty of this. Um, but that's kind of the, the way the bond bill works every year. This year, though, it was acute, the issue, because of the sheer volume of money. And I, I'm starting to find this actually quite concerning if we were to have another record budget year, a record bond year like we did this year. I plan on working with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle in order to craft some sort of mechanism to help control uh, a situation like this. Uh, whereby there's so much money floating around that it just becomes a, a, an absolute free-for-all. Uh, there was $70 million split up between the four caucuses for pet projects. A lot of them help community centers. A lot of them help tax ditches, roads. There are uh, um, any number of museums and other places of interest within Delaware that, that the bond bill helps. But I think we need to have a stronger structure around the bond bill so that if we do have a surplus like we had this year, the sheer volume of what we had this year, that some of that money is actually returned to the taxpayers of Delaware in some fashion. I, I am encouraged by those, again, from both sides of the aisle who, I, who have had very brief conversations with at this point, who seem to be, who seem to agree that more structure is perhaps needed. We just broke. We have six months to uh, try and put that together um, in order to have a little bit more fiscal responsibility uh, for uh, the people of Delaware that we are privileged to represent.